This one on the iPad to see if it helps. I don't know if you guys can see that better. But let's go ahead and work with these. Let's change that first equation into slope intercept form. Or did you guys do it differently? All right. So that would give us, oh, that's not what I want. Y uh, plus 2x is less than or equal to negative 2. But I would need to subtract 2x from both sides. And I get y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 2. So then we have a slope of negative 2 over 1 and a y-intercept of 0, negative 2. So let's go ahead and graph that line. We got a point at 0, negative 2 right there. And I'm just going to use the slope down to and then to the right one to find my next point, then I can connect those two points with a line. Uh, I'll fix that. That's better. All right, and is this line dashed or solid? It is solid, very good. And we can just test 0, 0 on this. So we got 0 plus 2 times 0. Is that greater than or equal to negative 2? Well, that gives us 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2. That's true. So because of that, we know we need a shade to the right of that line, which is where our test point was. All right. Now we can look at this other line, which I'll graph in purple. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and change this one to slope-intercept form. See how that goes. So I'll subtract 5x from both sides. And I got negative 3y is less than or equal to negative 5x plus 12. And then dividing everywhere by negative 3, I get y is less than or equal to ourselves more space. And now is a positive 5 thirds x minus 4. Slope is up 5 to the right 3, and the y-intercept is 0, negative 4. So 0, negative 4 gives us a point. Uh, looks like it is right there. And I'm going to go up 5 and then to the right 3, giving us this point. That was pretty awful. Let me try that again. And then up 5, and then to the right 3, puts us right there. And then one, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's good. That went up too far. Up 5, and then to the right 3. There we go. And it looks like I could go down 5 and to the left 3 as well. About right there. So that gives me this line, something like it. There we go. And this one also will be a solid line. And when we test, we can still test 0, 0. So if I have, if I look at this equation here, if I have 5 times 0 minus 3 times 0, that would give me 0 is less than or equal to 12. And that right there is true. So. I know I need to shade the same side of that line that that test point is on. So I shade over here. Again, you can look at this right here, but really the only area we're worried about is where both, uh, I don't know, sections are shaded in, which would be this one right here. So the green represents where the actual solution is.